All right, Laura, you are up, my friend. What what word comes to mind when you think about this discussion tonight? So much pressure, because I always feel like I have so many words or phrases. Um, first of all, thank you all for, you know, I was kind of like backstage, if you will, just hearing your love and your passion for your advocacy work, not just with SBC, but with all of the organizations that you guys are involved in. I am so grateful for your um, leadership with survivingbreastcancer.org. So just thank you again for all that you do and what you bring to the table and just hearing everyone's stories and the diversity of experiences that we're bringing. Like my heart is exploding right now. That is so many words. So my one word to sum this up is I think overwhelm. There is so much that we are doing. And I mean, overwhelming, like the best positive, most exciting way of like, oh, I finally found my community. There is something there for everybody. It's overwhelming, but I can find my my place. And so thank you all for bringing that and making that part of our reality into fruition. Thank you, Laura. All right, Amy, you are you are next to uh, you're next to Laura in our Brady Bunch squares now. So you're up next. Woohoo. Melanie can't steal my word. Um, so <laughs> I have two words, actually. One is family, because I feel like this is family and I feel home, but inspired for all the work that SBC is doing for 2024. So inspired. Thank you, Amy. Somebody always breaks the rules. It's usually Laura giving me phrases instead of words, but Amy broke the rules this time. All right, Katie, you're up. What word describes tonight? Um, my word is uh, similar to Amy's, but uh, community. And I feel like, uh, you know, we are really, um, yeah, represented the community that SBC is uh, trying to build, not just uh, within uh, the metastatic space, but uh, for all, women, uh, all individuals uh, impacted by breast cancer. Thank you, Katie. We've got a uh, synonym coming up for one of our viewers, Unity. That, that's, that's a great one as well. All right, Melanie, can't steal Amy's word again this time. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, I did not steal her word. Great minds think alike. I just got called on first, so she couldn't use the word. Anyway, so I think one word that comes to mind is intimacy. And it's not in the sexual realm, but it's we are sharing an intimate part of our life, which is our cancer journey. And we're sharing that with each other. And I just feel like that's a certain closeness that to me, intimacy describes it, but not in the sexual sense. That's kind of my word. Thank you, Melanie. Appreciate that. All right, Sheila, what word would you use for tonight? I will say empowered. I think every time we get together, I think we get like energy and we kind of feed off something that someone shares and it could be the story it could be information it could be resources could be understanding how big things are getting with sbc understanding that you just have the power to take control and you control the narrative you drive your story and again it's just feel like it gives people that that, that power that strength to just do the next best thing for you because what's best for you may not be the best for someone else but remember you do you that's, you need to take care of yourself first. Thank you, Sheila. What one phrase like that I, I really like is always be yourself because you're the only one there is, right? Uh, Claudia, what word uh, comes to mind for you? Okay, thank you, Sheila, because that was exactly what I was going to say. But <laughs> I had an alternate word just in case, and it's education. I think if for us, uh, becoming educated in what our diagnosis is, where our uh, choices are. I think that's extremely important. And surviving breast cancer can give us not only the basis to un understand what our immediate diagnosis is, but also to educate us beyond that, beyond uh, uh, what we what we are living right now and how we're going to continue living. And um, and I just want to say also that that's one uh, of the things that I have in mind with the Latino community, that we need to become educated. So in order to just, uh, for our voices to be heard, we need to become educated and to share our experiences. 
Thank you for that, Claudia. That's a that's a great word. So um, Katie stole my word. So now that we're like everybody's stealing each other's words. So uh, but my word for tonight is together. So similar to community, but um, I have found since my diagnosis, uh, how much stronger we are together and how much more we can accomplish together. And so um, that is one thing that I, I love about our community um, is like Melanie was saying with the intimacy that we're willing to share the information that we need to share with each other. We're not gonna find that in other places. Um, so really appreciate all of you and uh, your willingness to be here tonight, but, but also for your willingness to, um, to speak up for other people. Um, and to help survivingbreastcancer.org uh, do that as well. I have discovered in a lot of ways that being diagnosed with a really serious illness takes a lot. It takes, it takes our hair, it takes our fertility, it takes our energy, it can take our careers, it can take what we thought about in the future, it takes and takes and takes and takes. But Doing things together to help our community has given me a different purpose. And so that is something that um, I think can be really impactful on quality of life. Uh, so I hope that you all will tune in uh, in our future NBC webinars. Uh, there will be another one this month all about um, living with metastatic breast cancer and how that impacts our relationships, whether you are um, in a romantic relationship or not, uh, since it's February and we can't not talk about love and dating and all of those things. So stay tuned for, for that. That'll be a panel discussion uh, later this month in March. Um, Amy will talk about scans. We're gonna bring in a doctor to talk about some of the challenges in seeing say lobular breast cancer or inflammatory breast cancer, or really just interpreting scans Hopefully, he'll also talk a little bit more about how um, some organizations are beginning to use AI uh, to assist the doctors in, in reading images in order to get more accurate readings and so much more. So we hope you will come back and join us uh, for our every other Wednesday uh, metastatic um, webinar series. And um, Laura, would you like to talk anything about anything SBC wise otherwise? No, thank you. Again, being overwhelmed with all of the things, I would just encourage everyone to check out survivingbreastcancer.org forward slash events. And that's where you can find all of our programs that are absolutely 100% free. In addition to the support groups that we mentioned tonight in our NBC specific webinar series, we offer for all stages and all subtypes, expressive writing, art therapy classes, yoga, meditation, breath work, et cetera. And so there is um, opportunities to get involved and find the complimentary support um, in addition to everything that you guys are going through and living with on a day-to-day -day with your medical team. So yes, survivingbreastcancer.org forward slash events. That's my little plug. Thank you. And we'll see you all. I think it's scheduled for February 28th. I would say loop year Eve, if you will. Um, and we will talk about love. So see you all there. Thank you for joining us tonight.